everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make a very easy. This is the same place I will ask it in my description for you to print this out. I bought this fail fabric at a Hobby Lobby that I went yesterday. They have a big sale over there, everyone, with all the donuts. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So I'm going to go in the back. So you're going to place right on this. Trace this around. Thing for Alina told me that they have a big sale. They clear, and I didn't get anything from Christmas because I have way too much, and so I didn't get any. But they have a big sale over there. Everyone should go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So now after I cut it out, it's going to be like this, okay? Someday I'm going to share with you how to make with the fabric and the leather, the same style. On the bottom of the bat right here, you're going to fold it in half. Make sure it's lined up everything. You just want to curve this. So I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch right at the fold, and I'm going to curve this out to the side right here like that okay very simple and now you have this curl like that where we just fold in the center mark is still there you go going to mark down about half an inch right there for me I'm going to add the button this time i'm using a different type of button everyone oh so i'm using this type of uh, button right here and i need two one with the hole like this and one with like this okay okay with this button it's very easy to do so i'm gonna go ahead and place the first one right where i mark it's right here and then i just push it down sometimes you have to use something to poke but this one i can squeeze it in like that okay easy go in right there and then with this one right here, that is the hole for the button to go in. So I'm going to go like that. Just put right in that. And is I have the tool right here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put that right on here. And then the place it go right there in that same hole. Okay, make sure everything good. And then I'm going to squeeze it. When I squeeze it, that means I cut, I push down the pointy right there. Okay, very easy, just like that. And then from here, I'm gonna fold this one up so I can put the other side of the button on. You press this down, when you fold this down, you're going to press down and then you can get the mark right there. Start one for the other side of the button right here. So this one, I'm going to place it on the inside. So I just put it right there and it where I mark, I just push it up. It's the same way I did to the other one, but this one, this one with the hole sticking up like that, I'm going to place it right here. This one for this to stay together with that snap. Now go over with this plier and then press on and stay now and then it's easy for you to snap there you go with the loop you can use ribbon or anything you want from the top down where the flap you go to mark down two and a half inch 
two and a half inch from the flap down and at the loop make sure you're doing this the loop standing up so go ahead and hand sew this So after I add the loop in here, I'm going to fold this back the right side out like this. You pin your clip or you whatever, but you're going to make sure it stay together like this. You're going to sew, hand sew it if you want to or sewing machine. I'm sitting right next to the sewing machine, but I like to do hand sew so I can do a little chick check with you. It's been a while. From here up. And then I just, if you want to, you go around here. If you don't want to, that's fine. And I'm going to go to this full side right here. You can start one end of an inch or less. Go like that. Okay. You can do best it. I'm going to do that. Go all the way. Going to be so pretty when you're done. And then go to the next one continue to do so until you're finished and the back side look nice too okay so do that so my friend called me and she fell at the front stair and she's like oh my goodness you don't understand how painful I was it, with the eyes and everything it's pain the pain like you go on the labor you know how it is I say no really I don't I have two kids but I didn't go to labor I know I went there but I didn't I didn't I didn't know the pain so she said oh man I forgot about that seriously I did not I um how funny that my my doctor she scheduled me to have a c-section on the sack of my birthday that would be awesome Three of us and have our same birthday. Too funny when I when I pregnant the way I walk, I'm like a walking stick. I walk just so little and then I have to stand there and wait. It was so huge. I'm tiny. I only a uh, hundred no five pounds. And when I carry the drain it came to 146 so think about it the big giant balloon all the way on my way right in front of me can't see my feet i missed them <laughs> so just like that everyone because when i talk i don't remember to tell you so just like that and then the back look beautiful too um so funny my my mom my family nobody have dream ever i'm just one of the kind one time and it's done it's like my sister she have two kids but it's between two years apart and then in the morning she have to drive two different school for two but different time too that's the thing you know, after drop up one, come home and then get ready for the second one and then go to the second route and then pick up the same. I'm like, oh my goodness, I told you, just have twin so you can do everything in one. And she's like, how? <laughs> we didn't have a uh, twin like that. We, um, we went through an IVF, everyone. Okay, so when I go to here, I'm going to make sure I do more stitches over here so everything will stay good. So cute. You can go back one more time if you want, but I don't think you need it. 
really really secure here okay then I go right behind here right behind the fold and go in and then from here I'm gonna make a loop and then I come out Just like so. Very easy. And then you can do the other side. Very easy, right? Alright, finish the other side, everyone. Yeah, I make another one using the sewing machine. You can do both hand sew and sewing machine if you like. When I go up to the top, I'm going to go around the, the flap to look nicer. So keep the needle down. And then turn. Go all around. Make sure you don't sew on the loop. And then when you get into that one right there, you're going to turn around very easy. Now that is it. So easy. Isn't that so cute? Beautiful too. Taking this out. You can put many things in here if you want. You can put a corner. You can get a little money in here if you want to. If you want to put the card in here, then you're going to cut this down more. Okay, have it in more. And put the money in there if you want to. I have the same money, don't mind me. Same amount of money from last time. You can put in there. You can use this for anything on the easy, on the go. If you want to carry some cash some change. This is the way it's to put it in here. There we go. Snap. And then I use this for a book ring. I like it better because it holds really well too and also it's cheaper. So go to here, look this, and that's it. Four inches from top down and then right across. It uh, over a little bit over four and a half inch. Look how cute it is. That is so beautiful. I love the fail fabric with the different design. Go to Hobby Lobby. I don't get paid to tell them to tell you that. But um you can find many on different design. I got the flower one too. Um so I I will check online and I will get some more. Stay safe and take care everyone.